Hey guys, welcome back to the training. So guys, uh, today I'm going to cover one important thing that is called uh, SOAP UI tool. Now the SOAP UI is available in the form of Ready API and Ready API, this is a tool actually. And this Ready API is having multiple things over here that it's having SOAP UI is having Load UI also. So in the combination of both the things, we call it generally Ready API. So Ready API or maybe SOAP UI, we can say like both the things are correct. It's available in the form of uh, two things, like in the form of license version as well as the the normal version, like the free version. So I have downloaded uh, the SOAP UI Pro version, which is like a 14 days trial basis. So only 10 days are left. In fact, after that also, like if you really want to purchase it, you can purchase it. And I would prefer not to purchase it because it's like most of the things are already available in the free version. So I'll tell you that uh, how to uh, test your web application, I mean web, uh, web uh, web services and the REST APIs with uh, SOAP UI tool in Ready API. So we are not bothered about Load UI because Load UI is used for uh, uh, the load testing of the web services, and generally we don't prefer to use Load UI. I mean the load testing with the Load UI uh, for the performance and the load testing point of view. So our concept is just to cover the functionality part which we will cover with SOAP UI tool. That is more than more than enough to crack the interviews. In fact, uh, to survive in the project also easily, you can do that. So what you have to do, you just need to go to Google and uh, what you have to do, just go to Google and on Google search, that is uh, SOAP UI download. So SOAP UI download is available over here. That is uh, the latest release download you have to download and what you have to do it's very simple uh, for on the first time it will ask you to uh, you know on which machine where exactly you want to download so if you're using linux windows or mac machine so accordingly you can do that i'm using mac so i'll be using i'll be clicking on this download button over here after download what exactly it will do that uh, you have to fill this particular form actually okay all these things you have to fill this is the registration form and then after that, the moment you click on start trial, automatically it will be downloaded. And uh, the moment you download, it will create, uh, you know, it will give you one installation file and you just need to install it on your laptop. That's it. So I have already installed uh, SOAP UI on my laptop. And the moment I search for it, simple, you just need to write SOAP UI. And uh, here it is, not SOAP UI, you can use Ready API 2.2.0. This is the latest version that I have downloaded. Instead of SOAP UI, you have to use Ready API. So this is an icon. It will be created uh, on your desktop, on your documents. Uh, once you successfully download it and install it. So I'm not going to download it again. Down download and installation part is very simple, guys. And just simple launch it. And then the first time you will see this particular screen over here. Okay, so let me launch it again. And then I'll show you that uh, how to launch. So let's see, I'm going to the ready API, I'm going to launch it again. So this ready API is provided by a company smart beer, smart beer software. They started I think in 2007 and uh, it takes some time to launch it. So let it be like this. Don't worry that okay, why it is not getting launched and uh, we just need to launch it properly. So guys, first time you, the moment you launch it, it will say that, okay, this is the pro version and only 10 days are left. You can ignore this and simple close it. And what you have to do instead of going to dashboard, we just need to click on SOAP UI Pro and uh, this particular screen will be displayed. And uh, this is called the editor tool where you can do the APA functional testing and a number of things you can write it over here. Then I'll tell you what kind of rest uh, API sample project you can create and how to test and how to provide the assertions and everything. So now what you have to do that uh, ignore this particular part. Now you just need to click on go to file new. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you one thing functional test. You have to click on it. Right. And it will give you that. Okay. What kind of project you want to 
test either it is the SOAP UI or the REST API. So in SOAP UI we have an open API or WSDL file or WADL file but these days uh, okay we don't deal with the SOAP UI I mean uh, SOAP web services or WSDL file. The typical location of the REST API we have to use so we have to provide the URL and everything because in REST API ultimately it's everything is in, available in the form of endpoint URL and the REST API URL and I just need to click on start. So existing project also you can start you can directly import the existing project also but first time you can ignore this option and just click on start and again the same thing just like we saw in postman that we have number of methods over here that get post put and delete okay all the crud operations get call post call put and delete call so let's see i'm going to cover first get call and what kind of uh, get url you are going to use that so let's see in the previous example in postman we have seen that uh, this is a guest this is a get api that i want to get the information about washington the capital is washington and it's a get call so the moment you send the request i'm getting the res i'm getting the response that this is the get call response right so i'll just copy this particular url copy this and uh, i'll go to ready api and paste this particular url like this and that's it and you just need to click on next so the moment you click on next automatically okay it will uh, you just need to click on i mean your test function test was successfully created you just need to close it it will give you one confirmation message and you will see that okay this particular project got created and this is the request you can see that and uh, this is the actual HTTP request they have created and you just the moment you click on it it will show you one request and if you can see the icon the rest REST you can see that REST request is there and uh, this is the first automatically one test case will be created and uh, under that test case so what exactly the hierarchy here that this is a project and this is called test suite okay so in SOAP UI always remember guys that uh, first project will be created and then one test suite will be created and under that test suite we can create multiple test cases so this is the first test case and what exactly the purpose of this test case having one request it's saying that uh, this is the URL and uh, this is the parameter rest v2 capital is Washington okay so capital is Washington and uh, how to run the request so this is a request and this is a get call so how to run the request you can see that get is written over here this is the get call right and uh, so just like in postman we have to click on send button we have to click on this run button and you just need to click on it so the moment you run you can see that this is the response we are getting so this is a request and this is the response but right now we don't have any request we just have one url and we don't have any request payload over here so this is the response we are getting so this is the outline response if you see the raw response also this is a raw response this is the html response and this is a json response we know that okay what kind of json response we are getting so this is the json response we are getting from here just like we got it in postman okay like this the same response we are getting over there also in ready api right so this is a response we are getting now <clears throat> I have created one API call with Washington. Now I can create multiple test cases. So what I'm going to do, I just right click on it and uh, you can create new test case. Let's see new test case number two, right? So new test case number two, let's see with, you can give some name New Delhi. Okay. New Delhi or maybe let's see I'm giving, yeah, let's see the capital is New Delhi and click on ok so another test case will be created but if you see the now there are under this particular test suite we have two test cases test case number one test case number two this particular test case number one okay having the request one that is with washington test case number two it does not have any request so what i have to do i have to add a request okay otherwise what exactly you are going to execute it so i have to add a request so just simple right click on it and go to add step and under that add step you have to use rest request you have to add 
so just simply click on rest request and uh, what kind of rest request you can give rest request let's see you can give any name request 2 and click on ok and uh, create a new request let's see and click on ok and what kind of get call so again the same URL this is uh, instead of Washington I'm going to use New Delhi now okay and uh, click on ok so you can see that under the test case number 2 one request 2 got created having the value as New Delhi right and then again if you run it this particular request you will see that the JSON object you can see you can select the respective response the JSON response and the entire information about New Delhi capital about India and everything you are getting over here the same response that number of, I mean the values border values and everything the languages all such stuff we are getting over here right so this is a test case number one test case number two I have created under this particular test suite now if you want you just click on this particular test suite it will give you the overview picture that uh, under this particular test suite I have uh, two test cases test case number one test case number two with New Delhi right and uh, if you really want to add one more test case you can directly click on this plus icon and you can add one more request one more test case over here right so now we do one thing that uh, just a minute okay what I'm gonna do I just click on this particular test suite and I'm going to run it so what will happen the moment you run your test suite it will execute this particular test case and this particular test case two test cases will be executed under that test suite right remember just like we did in testng.xml file in you know testng.xml file we had suite level then test case level and then we have multiple test classes same thing over here this is a suite level and these are the two test cases multiple test cases over here so I just need to click on this particular test suite and I come to run it simple run it so you will see that first this particular test case is going to run and then test case number two is going to run both are green green means pass it means both are passed right and this is a request number one and request number two both the test case has got passed now there are number of things that uh, let's see I'm going to add some negative test case also so what I'm gonna do right click on it new test case let's see test case number three with null value okay click on ok and I'm going to right click on it again and add step rest request okay rest request number let's see request 3 request 3 and I'm going to create a new request over here new request and click on ok and this is the URL instead of Washington I'm going to pass null and click on ok so you will see that this case test case number one test case number two test case number three having null value and the moment you click on this request three you can see capital I'm passing null so I'm going to run it so with null it's giving 404 not found right and then JSON object also we are getting 404 not found we are getting over here right let's see I'll add one more test case simple right click new test case test case number four with some different value like my city name is ABC okay and I click on OK again right click on it and uh, add step is rest request and this is request number five and I click on OK and I'm going to create a new request create a new request and click on OK and again what I'm going to pass instead of Washington I'm going to pass ABC and I click on OK and under that request number five got created capital slash ABC and I'm going to run it so simple run it and again you are getting status 404 not found so I have written four test cases with the uh, Washington okay this is with the uh, uh, Washington 
and uh, this is with new delhi this is with null value this is with abc value right now okay so what i'm going to do let's see i'll write some proper naming convention over here that instead of this test case number one what i'm going to do right click on it and rename it let's see i'm giving some proper name test case number one with washington right test case one washington i'm writing over here so this is with washington with new delhi i remove this with from here okay test case number two new delhi null value and abc value and this is request number four actually sorry request number four so one two three four four requests i have created four test cases i have created and under each and every test case always remember one request will be there like this and all these test cases test case number one two three okay and four will be available over here under that particular test suite and let's see i can rename this also simple right click on it and rename and uh, let's see country details test suite okay and this is the rest project if you really want to give some name so you can change the name also over here that we let's see my rest project country apis okay and this is the rest project country api this is the test suite and four test cases i have defined like this so proper naming convention proper folder structure you can create like this and the moment i going to run this particular project level also you can run it so if you run it now see this particular test suite is getting executed under the test suite four test cases got passed test case number one passed new delhi got passed null pass abc pass so right now everything is getting passed why because i haven't put any assertion over here any validations over here so how to put assertion let's see this is the request number one and this is what i'm getting over here that uh, america or let's see request number two with new delhi request two i'm getting all these values over here now how to validate okay how to put assertions just like we did in rest assured and http client that we were getting the value of some specific uh, uh, json object and then we were fetching the value so how to do that so first i'll check i click on this particular plus icon you can see that adds an assertion to this item so this is how we click on it and then this is how we put the assertion so there are number of assertions are available these are the different assertions are available you just need to click on property content and you want to check what exactly your response contains so contains is another uh, response uh, assertion you can put and click on add you want that okay that uh, in my response if you're passing new delhi so first of all new delhi or any whatever anything should be okay you can pass any string and this particular string it should be available in your response object okay if you want to ignore case you can ignore case also and if you want to put any regular expression also you can provide that regular expression and click on okay and you will see that the assertion values are getting over added over here and right now this assertion is green dot green means this assertion got passed if you want to add one more assertion simple you can click on this plus icon again contains let's see i am expecting pune right and click on okay so immediately it will be failed because pune is not available in this particular assertion in this particular response so this particular assertion will be failed the moment the double click on it you will see that pune is not available it's saying missing pune in response right missing token pune in response right so this is not like that also you can check let's see i'm expecting instead of pune i'm expecting india so you can check both the assertion got passed let's see i'll add some other assertion again go to property content and you want to check that uh, okay let's see i'll go to compliance status i want to check that uh, valid status code like 200 404 400 like this and click on add and you are expecting 200 right and click on okay so you will see that 
valid status code is 200 which is also fine right and I click on this plus and again uh, let's see what else it has okay I'll go to property content again and some other assertions you can pass like not contains also that if you are expecting that okay this particular response should not contain such kind of a string some some information that you are not expecting from the response or in the response so those things also you can provide over here that uh, it should not have any let's see account some keyword you are you, it should not contain let's see account details okay i'm not expecting this particular account details is string in this particular response object so account details it's not available might be account account details is very confidential information and that it should not give you in the response so you can provide that okay account details value should not be available over here so the moment you click on okay it's saying that okay it does not contain account details also right like that also you can create now let's see what are the other assertions are available again go to property contains and uh, json path count okay so this is saying that okay use and json express to count the occurrence of an element applicable to any properly property containing json so how to json path count let's you click on add what i'm gonna do over here i have to write one json path expression over here so what you have to do you just need to click on this particular icon this icon is called select node to validate from the current message whatever the response message is coming it will read that particular content so you just need to click on it and uh, you will see it over here that okay what kind of content you want to read so I'm expecting let's see name India like this and click on ok so it will add this dollar zero I'm expecting name string so here in uh, soap UI we write name as a string like this in single quotes so immediately that I'll test it that what exactly the dollar zero name how many counts are available so in name only name is equal to new delhi or maybe india is there so if immediately you want to test it you can test it over here also right so it's giving one and you just need to save it what happened? okay so just a minute it's saying matches count equal to one just click on ok and it's saying that uh, specify a json expression and the expected result this is my expression that dollar zero name how many values are there in name name is equal to india only one value is there so it will give you the count one and click on save so how many assertions are there json path count count also for name i have added right so you can give some uh, one more assertion that let's see I'm going to give again go to property content and uh, json path json path let's see existence match okay and click on add again I'm going to click on this icon so that it will load and I'm checking that okay that uh, capital okay dollar zero capital is equal to okay so dollar zero capital is available or not that capital node is available or not so i can see that capital node is available over there right capital is new delhi it's available over there and then immediately you can test it over here also so you just need to click on test and you will see that if it is says that uh, message matches content for dollar zero capital right so capital is what is the capital capital is new delhi this capital uh, key or capital object is available it means ma it will show you message matches and click on ok let's see i'm expecting capital one two three or something one two three and again if you test it it will it will say that it will be failed it is saying that expected value true but actually false okay so it will not accept so better we write the proper object name over here the key name over here right and click on save so capital also we have added okay the proper key also we have added 
again go to property content and let's check this particular json path match right and click on add again click on this select json and let's see alt spellings i'm checking alt spellings and click on ok so you will see that what are the different values are available in alt spellings array so in alt spellings array we can see that uh, these are different i n bharat republic of india and bharat gan rajya so i n bharat republic of india and bharat gan rajya is available right and just click on test it will check if all the values are available yes message matches content for alt spellings it means whatever the values are coming over here the same response we are getting over here also okay so click on okay so like this you have to add number of assertions so how many assertions i have added seven assertions right so now if you're going to execute this particular uh, test case for test case number two only test case number two if you're going to execute just click on it and uh, see it is trying to execute request number two and all the assertions got passed i'm going to run it again simple run it now see one by one all the assertions are getting passed if any assertion getting failed immediately it will be failed over here right so this is how we put assertions okay so this is like uh, guys uh, soap ui tool generally we use in the next session i'll tell you that okay how to write some other test cases and other uh, uh, you know the soap service also you can add with the help of sdl file and the rest api also we can check like this okay so i'll give you some other overview and other examples with respect to get call with respect to post call also so in the next session i'll tell you what is post call and uh, how to pass the payload how to pass the json payload and how to pass the headers also okay so that's all for today please create one project and uh, check your api create one test case i mean one test suite and multiple test suites you can multiple test cases you can add and you can execute them together it's very simple tool but very famous and very easy to use okay Thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any issues. Thank you.